hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial in this very tutorial i'm just going to show you how to connect access database into visualbasic.net however this is the very first one i just finished connecting so if i click on the next button there you see what happened and i've also incorporated some other buttons here you guys can see how it works so I can add new information there I can save okay I can move next or previous I can update or delete and I can also exit so if I click on the exit button that's what you get alright so what I will do next is uh, take you straight into new visualbasic.net application I will start a new project the project is just going to be all about uh, GP okay just uh, a surgery system so I'm just gonna give it a name let's call it GP2 all right save that and um, just before I start right here are the database I intend to upload is actually a query because it's a combination of all this information here that I've put together to generate that query right here um, I reckon or I believe you know how to create a database and uh, create a query if you don't there are a couple of tutorials online that can help you and I also have one tutorial on database online so let's go straight into issue basic I'm just gonna close that okay all right that's my visual basic development environment so what I would do to the size is to increase the size to approximately 1360 by let's go for 700 there that's the size of my form so the next thing I'll do now is call that very database you guys have seen okay add new data source okay now this dialog box pops up data data source configuration widget so click on next now make sure you select your data set click on next and now when you get to the data source configuration widget right here you need to change this to new connection and what will happen is we then get this very box now we need to change our database source because this source is an SQL server okay we need Microsoft access database file this very one right here so once that is selected click on OK now this is what happened we have the information of the data source right here then database file that we want to use you have to browse to wherever your database is I think I have my database right here so I think that's it Dr. 8 click on Dr. 8 and that is it you can always leave your admin or you can enter a new username and password but I don't need any of those information so the next thing I will do now is to click on test connection click on text connection you can see connection is successful click on ok now click on ok right here okay the next thing we need to do is click on X alright this dialog box that dialog box that pops up is actually asking you would you like to save the database into your project file so if you say no it will just say copy it will just use it temporarily but if you say yes the database will be copied straight into your folder so let me click on yes so we then click on next okay now this dialog box pops up as soon as you click on next is the dialog box you see so if you decide to drop this down you see all of those tables that you saw in my database okay but since I've created a query you will see that in here in view that is it there so that's the one I intend to use so I'm going to click on 
just check that very very box there and click on finish so once you click on finish you then need to see the database itself so click on data show data source right there that's my data source there all I just need to do is to drop this down and those are the columns okay so if I want to see the details here I have the details right there okay before making use of the details let me get my toolbox select right there group box okay draw it about that move this down the next thing we will do is let me go back to my data source right there select show data source okay i need the this very one data grid view okay that's my data grid view there so i'll click on that just drag it and drop it right here okay that's the data grid view okay that's looking good move it down a little bit okay that's fine let's delete this text content and now that the data grid view is in it's on the system I can now extend it how I want okay let's leave that there and just move it this way okay just move this data grid view move it down here a little bit more if you can see it I can always change the back color let's change the back color of the group box to something a little bit darker okay now you see that all right so just move it down a little bit okay the next thing I will do is to actually get my data show data source again and change this to details once the detail is uh, selected click and drag so I'm just gonna drop it right here it's gonna be a very long file but uh, let's see what we can do about that the first place maybe I should undo that undo let's take this up a little bit so that I have enough space I can always come back and readjust that okay get my data details once that is selected maybe move this up a little bit oh let's undo again and let's move this aside for now move this here because I'm, I'm gonna need a, need more space here right there okay that's good enough for me so I will now select about five or six of these okay six go for six now we also select another six here or we'll maybe move all of these away from here down let's move it somewhere there and this bring this very selection take it down have about six of those there so I also need another six right here I have four there I'll just make let's make some room with this here okay bring this here there another one here yeah I think I may have enough all right so that's fine let's get this maybe go for five here and bring it right here now finally I think I'm gonna have to select all of this just uh, move this a little bit in yeah and then grab the last bit just right here and just take it down okay and now have my details in place now let's realign this very one the data show data grill bring bring that down about that okay and that is the table there right there okay if I run it this is what you guys will see that is how my system is looking right now but I'm gonna need a couple of buttons here just to make it look much better so let's do that before that let's see if this work yes it's working as expected let's see if we can delete yes we can delete okay and we can maybe add yeah that's fine but let me add some buttons here to perform exactly the same function right up there so all I'm going to do now is just to add the following let's just add this right there 
bring it down okay yeah that's fine and let's move this out a little bit all right so if i run it again this is how my system is looking right now if i can when i click on this they they do nothing really even the exit button does nothing so if i double click on the exit button i can always say application application.exit so that's out of the way so the next thing is let's double click on this okay the name of the file is gp appointment binding source so let's copy that very name gp appointment binding so double click on the delete paste gp appointment binding source and press enter say remove current okay that's that's that done the next thing is uh, i'm going to leave the update let's do the the next dot move move next okay now followed by move previous dot move previous there then i also have one more here save i will leave that dot add new let's work with dot add new there okay we now need to take care of the save so double click on save right there that's the code of save okay so if you want to see the codes again that's it right there that's the code for the save they're exactly the same lines of codes will be used for update double click on update and paste so if i run the program right now let's run it and see move this up a little bit so we can always go to the next or move up to previous we can update all right we can delete you see that so i can delete any patient from the database or any doctor's details so leave that and now uh, we can save if we want and exit so let me just show you the lines of code right here the lines of code that we used there they are okay that's to exit that's to remove or delete that's to move next move previous add new data then finally that's update and save okay and that's how you connect a database into microsoft access so with that i'll just call it bye for now